Howdy AP Pre-Cal, it's Ms. Kosh. We're continuing on with our notes on rational functions. Um, on this part, they're asking us to write the limit notation as we approach a value that is, well, in, um, in all three of them, it's not in our domain, okay? So notice on here, if I plug in two, I'd be dividing by zero. I'm not Chuck Norris, I can't divide by zero. Um, so let's look and see what happens. With, um, so what I chose to do is I typed all three of them in, so you don't have to watch me do that. Um, but I don't have them selected. Notice how the equal signs aren't highlighted here, so I can turn them off and on. Um, and I just went to draw my regular, I went window, and I hit standard. So it went from negative 10 to 10 in both the X and the Y. Um, so drawing that, it looks like this little piece. Well, maybe that's not the best window. It looks like I need some more um, Y values, and that may be too many, but whatever. Okay, and so now what's happening here, you'll notice I have this asymptote that shows up at x equals 2. And so as I approach from the left and I get closer and closer to 2, I'm going to shoot off towards negative infinity. As I approach from the right, I'm going to um, shoot off to positive infinity. So I would say the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of f of x is equal to, what did we say from the left? I just went to negative infinity, double checking. From the left, I'm coming down, oh, well, anyway. And then the other one, the limit as x approaches 2 from the right of f of x, that's going to be equal to positive infinity. Okay, the next one, what happens here is that this looks like the graph of, well, x plus 4 over x minus 3. So if I plug in, um, we could call, we could call this part, we could say that, Oh, there's an h. Okay, let's call this k. k of x would be equal to x plus 4 over x minus 3. When I plug in, now I want to know what happens at k of 2. So k of 2 would be 6 over negative 1, so negative 6. Did I do that correctly? 2 plus 4, yes, is 6. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Okay, so, um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to have a whole... Um, it's going to look like this graph, but it's going to have a hole at 2, negative 6. So the limit as x approaches 2 from either the left or the right, but we'll do, um, is going to be equal to negative 6. Okay, and now let's see. I'm coming back to my calculator. Um, what do I want to do? I want to come back, exit out. I want to turn this one off. I don't need to see that one anymore. I want to turn this one on. And I might, um, no, I'd have to change my mode. Y'all aren't ready for that. Never mind. I was going to draw the coordinate. But um, when I approach 2, it's hard to tell exactly where this is, but maybe I could trace. Um, let's see, sketch. Nope. Uh -huh. uh, trace, there it is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so as I get closer and closer to uh, x equals 2, okay, I'm too big. I've already gone to negative 8. Um, that's, look how close that is to negative 6. Here I am. I'm close to negative 6. I knew that I was right because I plugged it into the equation um, that where I had removed that hole. Um, but you can see in the graph that that's kind of what's happening also. Okay, um, the next one we have, when we, after we remove, this is going to look like, um, well, we'll call this one j of x just to change it up. We have an x minus 4 on top. The um, x minus 2 cancels with one of the x minus 2s, but not both. And so x equals 2 is an asymptote. So I have already turned this one on, exit out. Let's turn this one off. Let's turn this one on. Okay, so what's happening here, where is x equals 2? You know what? That window is... Let's come in from negative 3 to 5, maybe. I just want to zoom in and see a little bit better what's happening. Okay, because I'm wanting to know. So I couldn't tell where my asymptotes were a second ago, but now I can see a little bit better. I'm approaching 2, so if I approach from the left, I'm going off to positive infinity. If I approach from the right, I'm going to negative infinity. Um, and so if I approach from the left, it's, it's the opposite of this one. Um, the limit as x goes to 2 from the left of h. Oh, you know what? I used f. Go back over here. Those should have been g's. My bad. h of x would be equal to, what did we just say? Coming from the left, we're going off to positive infinity. And then the limit as 
x goes to 2 from the right of h of x is equal to negative infinity. Um, okay, let's see. Let's do, we'll do the next one, and then I may start the next video after that. So they want us to write a rational function. So this is telling us that if we um, approach 3, we have um, a value of 5. Okay, and then if we approach 1, we have from, um, so I think I need more space. Sorry, I've worked this already, but I've slept since then, so I forgot my details. Um, okay, so let me draw a picture and see what's happening. We're approaching, we have three, one, two, three, four, five. I would assume they mean that that's a whole, but I should ask the calculus teachers. I don't know that it has to be. I think that we can approach um, a number. I think that's what they're trying to tell us. Um, and then we have, uh, but here, this will be an asymptote. When I approach x equals 1, from the left, the, from the left, it's going to come down to negative infinity. From the right, it's going to go up to positive infinity. Okay, so my equation needs to have, um, so f of x needs to have an x minus 1 in the bottom for sure. Let's assume this is a whole, and I'll let you know otherwise if it's not. Um, we don't know. Um, so if it's a whole, then we have an x minus 3 both in the bottom and in the top. We might have another value. Um, we don't know if it's the same degree, top heavy, bottom heavy. Um, I think that we can, we have choices, not going to lie. So let's see, if I plug in, if this were removed, um, sorry, one of our options would be to say something like um, that we have an x minus a or something on top. And so this would be the same degree, and you would have like a, um, an asymptote of y equals 1. It could be that it's, the, it's bottom heavy. There's no reason that, it, that it's not necessarily. And then we would say something like f of x would equal a times x minus 3 over x minus 1 times x minus 3. Um, and then we could also have the situation. I, I don't see any reason we can't have a slant asymptote. I don't know, um, yeah, I don't know why we wouldn't. But, okay, so let's say we're one of these two scenarios. Once this has been removed, then we would have, um, this guy would become, would look like, it would look like the equation, let's call it g of x, is equal to x minus a over x minus 1, but we need to go through the point 3, 5. So g of 3 would equal 3 minus a over 3 minus 1. This would have to equal 5. So then we would solve that equation. This is 2. Multiply both sides by 2. I have 3 minus a is equal to 10. So subtract. That gives me 7. So um, a would equal negative 7. So my equation could be um, f of x is equal to x minus 3 times x plus 7 all over x minus 1 times x minus 3. And if I grab a calculator, um, let's just turn this one off, and we'll turn in, type in another one. I'll let you watch how I type this in. I would hit, go to the fraction key. I would do parentheses, x minus 3, um, x plus 7, x minus 1 over x minus 3. Okay, and when I draw that, it appears, okay, well, let's see. It appears that I have the point 3, well, let's trace. Um, we have an asymptote at 1. Did you see how we were undefined there at 1? That's what we wanted. Um, and then I want to see what happens when I get closer to 3. It's going to be undefined at 3, but notice here, at I'm when I'm I'm a little bit smaller than three. I'm at five point five. I'm still getting. I'm. What are we wanting to approach? We'd have the point three five. Yeah. Okay. When we're, I'm on one side of it, I'm a little bit bigger than five. When I'm on the other side of it, I'm a little bit smaller than five. So that sure seems to be the correct. Um, you can see things a little bit better in Desmos, but I didn't have that for us right this moment. Okay, um, I hope that was helpful. We'll keep practicing.